How do you secure a cloud environment? Say AWS, Amazon Web Services, and Kubernetes, EKS, that service they offer? Well, you should know the offense. Understand the threat actors, adversaries, and hackers, and what they're up to so you know what you're up against. With that in mind, I want to introduce you to the EKS Cluster Games, a challenge-based activity and exercise for you to learn some of the techniques, some of the tradecraft that adversaries might use to break into cloud environments. Say, you You've hacked into a low privilege AWS EKS pod. You can use the terminal to find flags or strings, keys, and tokens across the environment. Each challenge runs in a different Kubernetes namespace with varying permissions. All the different Kubernetes resources are crucial and challenges are based on real misconfigurations and security issues in EKS. This is awesome. It's a capture the flag style learning and training lab and it's all online and free. You can access it right now if you wanna follow along, link in the video description. Let's go ahead and click begin challenge and start this up. Ooh, here we go, our first task, secret seeker. Jumpstart your quest by listing all the secrets in the cluster. Can you spot the flag amongst them? Now we can insert the flag here and we can view the permissions that we might have, but I think we should just dive in. You can see down below, we have a terminal that we can work in, but if we click that sort of full screen icon, that'll bring us to full screen mode. And here we are on the command line. We can of course kind of navigate around, see who we are, but again, that's all on the endpoint and device. We want to be looking into the cloud, EKS, AWS, and Kubernetes. So we can start to work with kube control. First thing I like to do is run kube control who am I so we can see who we are in the context of this cluster. Looks like we are running as a service account. And the next thing that I want to do is figure out what permissions that I have. What can I actually access? So we can do that with kube control auth as the subcommand, and I believe it's can I with the hyphen there, and if I use tac tac list, we can list out all the things that I might be able to do. By the way, I don't know if there is a shorter or faster command to be able to do that, view and list all the permissions, but if you do, please let me know in the comments. I'll go ahead and hit enter on that command, and ooh, take a look. These are all the things that we can do, what we are authorized to access, couple different resources here, some boilerplate stuff, I think, and then secrets, especially important as from the challenge prompt here, we can actually get and list all these secrets. Yep, so what we might be able to do then is try to run kube control get secrets and see if that will be displayed out here for us. Looks like, oh, there is one called log rotate. Here is log rotate, and we can actually run the same exact command to pass in that specific secret. Now that we know that there is a secret that we can access, let's try to actually view it. Let me run the same command. You could use get secrets or get secret, I believe, with that log rotate name. And I actually wanna output that in a format that gives me a little bit more detail. So I'll use tac o, and I like to use yaml here because it's nice and simple, pretty easy and that will just display everything out on the screen here for us. Take a look. The data present here includes a flag. You can see all the metadata just as well, the API version, but ultimately what we are interested in is that base64 encoded string, this flag value. So I'm gonna copy and paste this. We want to base64 decode that string so we can get the raw plain text flag value. So I'm gonna do some interesting redirection here. I'll use base64 tag D to decode, and I'll use three less than symbols. So I can sort of put this in line here, and within quotes, I'll paste in the base64 string. Now when I hit enter, check it out. There is our flag, Wiz EKS challenge, OMG overprivileged secret access. Nice, that is all that we need to go and submit this for that challenge. Let's hop back over here, paste in our flag and let's hit check. And there it is, success. We have completed that task. And hey, you might've noticed that flag started with Wiz the fastest growing cybersecurity company and the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much, Wiz. Please let me fill you in on Wiz. It makes cloud security absolute magic. Wiz provides a cloud native application protection platform that scans each and every layer of your cloud environments and gives you complete visibility across all of your technology stack so that you have the big picture and you can focus on what matters most. Whether or not you're working with AWS or Azure, Google Cloud Platform, VMware vSphere or Kubernetes, across every single virtual machine, container, serverless function or data store, Wiz finds the blind spots and gives you more context with less noise. Because when a threat faces your environment, it's not just one isolated issue, it's multiple, different vulnerabilities or misconfigurations, and Wiz ties these all together across each cloud component and uncovers all types of risks. 
Wiz streamlines your alerts and routes them to the right people on the right platform. And you and your organization can proactively protect your environment. You can keep your cloud secure with Wiz. Get started with Wiz with my link below in the video description. jh.live slash Wiz. Huge thanks to Wiz for sponsoring this video. And hey, super quick, I don't know if you noticed, but over in the top of the navigation here, you can actually go to this location to train your team on EKS security. If you're up for it, you can fill out the form and you'll get a private subdomain and leaderboard where you can experiment with the challenges and have an internal competition with your own team. You'll get all the challenge solutions, walkthroughs, and some mitigation, all the defenses, things you can put in place to protect against the misconfigurations all throughout this challenge. And of course, it's all for free. I don't want to fanboy too hard here, but seriously, I do love this. I think it's awesome and a great way to learn, practice, and improve your cybersecurity posture, especially in the cloud. So huge props, huge kudos to everyone over at Wiz and the creators of this exercise. But let's get back to it. Let's move on to our second task called Registry Hunt. A thing we learned during our research, always check the container registries. And for your convenience, the Crane utility is already pre-installed on this machine. Now I'll be straight up, I'm out of my element. I'm still learning all this cloud security stuff, especially for AWS and EKS and Kubernetes, so I'm not too sure what Crane is. And if you aren't familiar, let's go find out together. They do offer this link to a GitHub repository for Go Container Registry and a markdown file for Crane. Crane is a tool for managing container images. So okay, Docker containers being orchestrated by Kubernetes, we could probably use Crane to work with information from the registry. Registry of images, the ones that are built off like the blueprint for containers, and maybe this is everything that we could use for the next challenge. We do of course have some hints that we could use if we wanted to reveal those just cost two points for us. I don't think we need to do that, but it's worth knowing that we can for our own learning. So let's start the very same enumeration, running who am I? Again, another service account for challenge two. Kube control, let's do an auth can I tack tack list. And take a look at this output here. I know the text is a little bit small, but we have the usual boilerplate stuff and the secrets that we saw just previously. Well, we can't really list them anymore, but oddly enough, we can get them. So I'm curious, okay, what secrets might we be able to get even if we can't determine what their names are? We do have a little bit more access to pods though, some of the Kubernetes pods. Let's see, can I use kubectl get pods? See if there's any that's gonna be returned to us. There is a database pod, ooh, okay. So let me try to run the exact same get pod for our database pod. We'll just go ahead and paste that in and I'll use tack o yaml again to get the more fine tuned verbose all the details here. Ooh, look at all this, there's a ton here. I'm scrolling back to the top, but let's try to walk through this. Okay, usual API version, kind of a pod here, a little bit of metadata, and the spec, the configuration for the containers here, specify that, ooh, this is an EKS cluster games base X image. So that is the Docker image here, right? But it does some other interesting things, it looks like. Has a couple volume mounts, has some DNS policy, blah, 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 but image pull secrets is odd to me. It needs to retrieve some secrets that it would actually use within that container, within the image. In fact, okay, it displays the name here, which helps us because we know that we could get secrets, but we weren't able to know what their names were. I'm curious what this registry pull secrets is. Let's see if we can retrieve that. Again, I'll copy and paste, and I don't think there's a whole lot else in the giant dump of details for that EKS container here. But let me clear the screen and let's see if we could use kubectl get secret and I'll paste in that registry pull secrets value. It exists, okay, so we can get that, but remember, we couldn't actually list these. If I were to try to get secrets, it gives me an error. Nope, that's forbidden, we're not allowed to do that. But we know the exact name, so let's try and enter that and let's use one more time that tack o yaml to describe all this out. Ooh, I see a docker config json data that looks like more base64 encoded strings. Let's copy and paste that and let's try to base64 tack d. We'll use our three waka wakas or less than symbols, paste this in, hit enter. And there's some interesting details here. We have some auths to index docker io v1 and seemingly auth key information. Now, could we try to just like pull that down or like log into that docker registry here? We don't have docker, but we do have crane, correct? What is this auth variable? Maybe that will help give us some of the credentials that we could use to like log in with that. Let's base64 decode that one more time, grabbing the inner auth value here. I'll paste this. 
Ooh, EKS Cluster Games, colon, Docker Pat nonsense. So that looks like a username and password pairing, right? That is our authentication. So we could use Crane, right? And Crane allows us to authenticate or log in or access credentials. Ooh, okay, I think we have all the puzzle pieces here. And we could pull remote images if we know their name, just like we saw in the metadata of that running pod. So let's use some of these details here. Let's go base64 decode all of that original value to get the URL. Let's base64 decode our auth information and let's use crane auth. I'm assuming we need to supply, yep, okay. Just the uh, location that we want here, log in. That's right, we need some arguments. Can I supply help there to determine what we're doing? Yeah, okay, so we can supply the registry that we want to authenticate to and a username and password. So let's pass all this in. We have all the details that we need. Let's do crane auth login at that registry. Copy and paste. Let's use tack u for our username that we know is EKS cluster games. We'll copy and paste that. And then let's use tack p. And I don't know how well you can see this. Maybe my face is covering it, but let's go ahead and supply the password here. Uh, okay, must need a actual URI. I'm assuming it needs HTTP at the start of it, right? Just supply the schema. I'll hit enter on that. No, okay, we don't need the tack v1. I'm learning, I promise. What? Okay, I didn't supply the HTTP and I also removed the slash v1 and now I have successfully logged in with some of the Docker configuration stuff needed. Sorry, I promise I'm learning. Crane is a little bit new to me and I'm dumb. Now that we're authenticated to the registry, we could actually probably go grab that pods that we saw for the database pod. If I actually go retrieve that database pod, grab the image one more time, I'll use tack output YAML. Scrolling back up here, we know that that was called the image name EKS cluster games base EXT image. So let's copy that value. And now we can run crane pull, right? Let's pass in, let's see what the arguments are here. We need the image and then where we want to put the tar ball. So let's go ahead and crane pull with the image name, what we've retrieved there. And let's put that in just like the temporary directory for like our image.tar, where we'll store all the contents of that Docker container image, right? Let me hit enter, pulls it down, fingers crossed. Can I go into the temp directory? Let's ls, see what we have here, and there is our image. All right, let's extract that, tar xvf, x to extract, v for verbose, f to supply the file name, tab complete image.tar, and ooh, we have some stuff here. ls tackle all this, there is our regular manifest, and there are the different layers in other subcomponent tar files that we could go ahead and extract and work with. Um, this one's giant, it looks like, and this one's a little bit small. I wonder if they're trying to hide it in any of these. Let's just, let's just grab the first one. So let's talk xvf that um oh okay that seemingly extracted a flag.txt let's go see yep we have it in our current directory you can see that here let me go ahead and cat out that flag.txt and there we go we win Wiz EKS challenge, nothing can be said to be certain except death, taxes, and the existence of misconfigured secrets, I'm assuming is what that end says. Also typo, existence. Let's copy and paste, let's go select all this and slap it on the scoreboard. Scrolling back down here, we can go ahead and submit, paste that in, and there, success! Ooh, this is based on real events. We successfully used this technique in both of our engagements with Alibaba Cloud? Oh, they have a whole article. Broken Sesame accidental write permissions to private register. This is awesome. Yeah, Alibaba Cloud and IBM Cloud to obtain internal container images and to prove unauthorized access to cross-tenant data. That's wild. Now we can go move on to the next challenge. What do we have for number three here? Image inquisition, a pod's image holds more than just code. Deep dive into its ECR repository, inspect the image layers and uncover the hidden secret. Remember, you're running inside of a compromised EKS pod and we have Crane still available for us. Interesting. Um, I think, I'll be honest, you know, we got our feet wet with Crane. We're kind of getting the lay of the land here. We're still learning, having fun, but this has become a little bit of a long video already. And I'd love to leave a little bit of a cliffhanger Maybe you can go tackle challenge number three and four and five, but in the next video, we'll go tackle those and see what mischief we can get into.
But that is the very beginning of the EKS Cluster games, all put together, all online for free, totally accessible for you and anyone, all thanks to Wiz. And again, huge thanks for them sponsoring this video. If you are looking to protect your cloud environment for your company, your business, your organization, seriously, please, please, please check them out. They do incredible stuff, raving reviews, fastest cybersecurity company growing ever. Like, check them out, link below in the video description, and I'm just happy to be a partner with them. Thank you for watching. Please do all those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.